also check it out guys, we're back with a brand new episode on the channel. My name is of course General Tony and welcome my friends back to the General Tony account. So yesterday I was actually on Twitter and I saw Supercell posted something about the next COC update guys and that it was just around the corner. So it's got me super excited. I really want a new update to come into the game because I've been maxed out for so long now. It is just damn ridiculous. So what we're going to be doing in this episode, first off, I am going to give away two gold passes because I promised you, my subscribers, yesterday that if we got 1,500 likes on the video, which we did, we got actually 2,000 likes, so thank you, that I would give away $10 in gift, in gift passes, one for iTunes, one for Android, so I will be giving them away in the episode, guys. Keep your eyes peeled, and I do want to say this time, if we get another 1,500 likes, but in 12 hours, I will give away four passes, guys, the day the update is released, which I think could be the end of the week or the start of next. So tap that like button. If we get 1,500 likes in 12 hours, we will give away another four passes here on the YouTube channel. So my subscribers, you guys can have the chance to win and get your very own hero skin and all the other prizes inside of this season's goal pass. All that being said, let's get ourselves into the episode, guys. So take a look at this. We're back on our max level base. What I want to try and do, I want to try and max out my gold storages, my elixir and the dark elixir in the next 24 hours. So we will be ready for when this massive update drops, guys. If we go into the magic items, we've got ourselves a nice sweet amount of magical items so far. But I do want to add some more to them, so I want to try and get all these prizes ASAP so we're ready for when the update drops. And I think we've also got a huge amount of CWL points, guys. 779, which is worth 79 million gold. So I'm excited about that. Let's get ourselves into some live attacks. The first thing I want to do is I want to push back up in trophies. Because we're not even at 4,000 trophies right now, which is... Kind of insane, I'm not gonna lie, considering we are a max level base. So let's get ourselves into today's... Oh, wow. I swear I'm the luckiest player alive, guys. We just found a 2 million plus loot raid. 10,000 Dark Elixir, and it's the first base we found. How crazy is that? That couldn't have gone any, any better. Oh, my. Okay. Guys, let me know down below... What is the biggest loot raid you've seen in the last 24 hours? Has anyone had a raid bigger than this? So I'm going to get the Earthquake spells in over there. Check out this dude's levels. Level 23 King. He is about to get absolutely crushed by my max level Queen and the rest of the army, guys. Before I do anything, though, I want to try and take out this multi-target Inferno Tower using a couple of my troops. Oh, I didn't see the Wizard Tower. That kind of sucks. Okay, hopefully the Yeti's actually going to be able to take it out, guys. The Yetamite should be able to take this Inferno down. As soon as it goes down, I'm going to send in the Wall Breakers. Here we go. And we're going to open up the base like a tin of worms. Over on the other side, the Queen's probably going to go down, but I don't really need the Queen, guys, because this base is kind of low level anyway. So let's just do as much destruction as possible. And we'll see where we go. I'm going to activate the Royal Champion Shield just to make a funnel. And get the troops to enter into the core, guys. Let's go with the free spell, the poison spell. And let's also put the King's ability nice and early. I forgot to drop in the Warden. That kind of sucks because now we're going to lose all our troops to the uh, Giga Inferno. No! Oh, damn. Wow. Okay. Warden is finally coming in. It's a little bit late, but we should still... Be able to save some of these troops, guys. Let's activate the Grand Warden's ability now. As we take out the Bomb Tower, it looks like we're still going to get a triple star. So that is absolutely amazing. We're going to take out all these buildings at the top of the base, guys. Grabbing ourselves a huge amount of loot already. And the gold is almost maxed out. How crazy is that, guys? I have been played this account for like eight weeks. And we've still got a nice amount of loot inside of our storages, but we do want to max it out. Ready for when the update drops, guys. Now, I've got no idea what's going to be inside of this next update, but I do know there is going to be some new troops. I saw that on the Supercell Twitter page. And maybe 
some new buildings, guys. Maybe new defenses, maybe new spells. I'm not sure. I'm just hoping it's going to be a massive update and the sneak peeks will start shortly. So, we're going to take out the rest of these buildings. We're going to get a triple star because I do want to move up in trophies, guys. And there it is. The end of the first raid as we collected a ginormous 2 plus million golden elixir, 10,000 dark elixir, and a 1,400 dark elixir bonus. Think we might have got a star bonus as well. No, we didn't. Okay. But we are officially back inside of the Champion 1 League, which is amazing. So, what I want to do right now, we've got a lot of challenges, guys. Let's take a look. We've got this one here. Chop down some trees. Upgrade any 10 wall pieces in either village. Let's go over to this village. And let's see if we can upgrade some walls, guys. Um, think we can upgrade... Oh, wow, they're expensive. Okay. I know I've got a... Oh, wow, here we go. Okay, now we can upgrade these ones really cheap. Let's get them going. I think we just done it already. So let's go back to our village and let's check. There it is! Adding another 100 points, and we got some more rewards. Can't actually collect any of them. We're, we're going to leave the elixir there, because I don't really need it. So, um, we're going to quick train up another army. I'm going to grab myself another Siege Barracks, guys. And we're going to take a look at these other challenges. So, I'm going to complete this one today. We're also going to complete the Wizard Tower one. Start any four building upgrades in either village. Because we've already maxed out one village, all we can really do is this one. But I kind of just spent all my gold. So what we're going to do, I'm going to drop the rune of gold. And we're going to do some rune of gold building upgrades. I'm actually going to do really cheap upgrades, guys, because we do need to do quite a lot of them. So we'll start with the gold mine. How much is this going to cost? 10 hours. Wow. Okay. Let's upgrade this one again. Let's gem it again. And let's upgrade it again. And I think we just done the challenge already. So let's go back. There it is, guys. Another 100. Oh, no. Wow. That was 200. So that's going to take us all the way up there. Resource potion, bigger season bank, and a hero potion, which is also going to stay there. So let's check what magic items we've got so far, guys. Three resource potions. Rune of Elixir, Rune of Dark Elixir. I think there's also some more inside up here. So we're actually going to have quite a lot of runes ready for the update, guys. Rune of Gold, Rune of Elixir, Rune of Dark Elixir. And we've got a double book of heroes. If there are new hero levels coming, then we are going to be in a good position. Let's see what else we got, guys. We could definitely do this one as well. But we do need to buy a super troop. Collect a total of 30 stars. That's going to be an easy one for 200 points. And the Expo one. Another easy one, guys. And then we've got the trees, where we just need to chop down some trees. So I think we've got a lot of trees in this base. Maybe not this one, but in the Builder Village we do. So we'll do that once we stop recording. But now, we're actually going to get ourselves straight into the next live attack, guys. So let's not waste any time. Let's do this. Here we go. We're going to see if we can find another massive loot raid. That's already a great start, guys. But let's see if we can get something a tiny bit better and get one step closer to maxing out these gold storages and elixir storages and, of course, the dark elixir. Here we go. 8,000 dark elixir. Wow. Okay. I'm going to open up the base at the top, guys. I'm going to get the archer queen in down the bottom. Baby dragon to funnel. Oh, wow. That was uh, interesting, guys. Okay, we've lost another balloon. Getting absolutely destroyed there by those uh, by those air mines and air bombs. We've got the queen ready to enter. I just don't know if she's going to get stuck between all these defenses. There is quite a lot, but hopefully she's going to be okay. Maybe I'll rage her up in a second, guys. For now, we're going to see if we can take on this base. And enter directly into the core. I'm going to use the real champion on its own down that side. We're going to rage up the queen. Drop the poison spell in. Drop the free spell on the inferno tower. The P.E.K.K.A. just about survived. I'm going to pop the king's ability. And the wardens really early. And the royal champions. As we head into the core guys. We're going to drop that free spell down on the Giga Inferno. 
And it looks like it's going to be another easy triple. Another walk in the park for all these max level troops. As the Giga Inferno is just about probably going to go down from the king. There he goes. Still got the queen on the other side. And we're just going to move up with our cleanup troops. And it's pretty much game over. Only 71,000 elixir left on the map. We've still got to take out that single target Inferno Tower, guys. But um, we've almost grabbed all the loot, so I'm happy. Let's pop the Queen's ability and let's end the raid there. At a total of another 8,200 Dark Elixir and another couple of trophies. And I think we just done another challenge. Yes, we did the Expo. 15% research boost. Awesome. So we're going to end this episode here, guys. Stay tuned for the next one.